When I found out that my local hospital was at threat, at risk, that stirred up feelings for me that what right have these people got to make decisions without me as a local mum, as a local resident being involved in. And this has been a journey of blood, sweat and tears, lots of emotion, lots of hiccups along the way and encounters with clinicians who think they know best. I want to live, I want to give, I've been a minor for a heart of As a campaign team, we've grown together, it's the right fight. It's the end of the consultation, I'm just kind of hoping it's not the end of our hospital. Because we've been a real community campaign and we've stressed from the beginning, this isn't about politics, this is about our hospital and this is about me, you, our children, our grandchildren, our parents, that's what this is about. So put all those political differences aside, come and join us, have your voice heard. This is what this is about really. I've been to Hollywood, I've been to Redwood, I climbed the ocean for a heart of gold. This was the first ever NHS hospital. Local people are being ignored as usual. It's the same old symptoms of, of a problem within our society where people aren't listened to and the people in power believe that they can do whatever they want and get away with it. Fortunately, there's been a mass outpouring of support from the people of Trafford, which has been shown on several marches and petitions that we sent through to Downing Street. And this has shown that the people are willing to stand up with one voice and say, this is not acceptable, we do not stand for this. Don't give up. We have had people say to us, oh, well, it's a done deal. Well, if everybody felt like that, nobody would do anything. When politicians from all colours came together and said, no, the public can join that and say no to. Cheers.